Well, let's try this again. Oh, let's see if we can do this. I, nah, not going to do it this time, is it? Oh, maybe a little bit. When I first, uh, when I first, uh, of course, I had to do this over again. Um, when, when I first, uh, the first video I started, I, it started like this. I was like, hey, can you guys see that? It's a reflection and it's me and it's me doing the video in the pick garden. It's just a black, black pick garden. That's kind of cool. And this video is going to make no sense to anyone. I am looking to get more subscribers, but pfft, this ain't going to do it. <laughs> I would like to give a guitar away if, when I reach uh, a thousand subscribers. Um, I just, uh, I felt like, uh, well, I didn't feel like doing this today. And I did say a long time ago that this is one of the reasons why I was going to do these is when I did not feel like doing them, I was going to force myself to because I wanted it to be an inspiration for others. And I right at this moment in time it sounds like a dumbass mistake because i got nothing to say and i just I, I i thought of things today that's that's taken a couple of years and it's like well why didn't the professional people who have been monitoring my situation the entire time so uh, i i don't know how long y'all been with this journey or how much you, you've you've seen of of my journey here but when all of this started for me, I got taken to the hospital and I pretty much lost almost all the blood in my body. I was like drained, done. <laughs> and they said if I had one more, uh, one if they would have, have to give me one more unit, they probably would have said he's dead. You know, basically if that was I was that low on blood, they were like, oh my god, this guy shouldn't even be living right now. How is he functioning? You know, I'm over there making jokes, um, cracking wise ass, and you know, making puns everywhere and. Uh, Worrying about other people and trying to get back to work myself. I'm like, no, man, I got to get back to work. I got to work tomorrow. What the hell, man? Get me out of here. You know, um, and so that was me. Uh, but uh, but that, that whole blood loss thing is this thing that I thought of today. Well, wait a minute. I've been looking for, I've been pounding my head against the wall for what happened. You know, was there something physical that happened with my body? And I've been asking all these people, all these medical professionals, these people that have been with me the whole time so they know where I came from, how it all started, how everything started. And it's like, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. If I lost most of the blood in my body, and I didn't know how long this had been going on. And this had probably been going on for a really long time. Um, and the doctor, one of the doctors pulled me aside and said, dude, if your heart wasn't really, really good, you would be meaning that if that organ was not functioning at a super high level, pumping what little blood I had to my body, then I wouldn't be here. Now think about this. I was in IT. I was doing okay. I was faltering, but I was failing basically at that at the end there. I was not understanding things. But leading up to all of that, in the years leading up to all of this, which apparently had been probably a couple of years that this has been happening, um, in all those in the years leading up to that. I was still functioning, but then afterwards I was unable to. Wouldn't you think that, oh, hey, maybe we should take that into account as well? This is the first time that I've ever thought of it. No one's brought this to me. These are all professionals that are supposed to be thinking of these things. And it's like, this is why I'm like, the planet is doomed. It's like, why do I have to think of these things? And now I have to go try and explain this to them. It's like, hey, could this be something? And they'll probably just blow me off to the point where I'll be frustrated and be like, look, you stupid idiots. There's something here. Why don't you look into it? And they'll finally go, oh, well, there could be something there. And, but it's, these are professionals. Come on, man. And oh, wow. This is like, why do I have to do all this heavy lifting when you guys are supposed to be the ones helping me here? So I'll, but this is Mr. Determined. Mr. Determined. I don't remember what movie that's from, but uh, it's like me, man. Mr. Determined. And I just, I got to keep going, keep going. And that's kind of what this channel is all about. It's like, I, I have this determination to get better, to, to, to do things without surgery, without them cutting me up, and without them, in my mind, playing God and mutilating me, because that's what they're doing. I'm not the one to make the decision about whether I should be cut up or not. That's not my decision. Um, it would have been better if they would have just done it, you know, knocked me out and just rerouted me at that time. But they couldn't. It was too big. The tumor was too big. So, um, And they got rid of it once, man. They got rid of it. So why can't they do it again without surgery? That was my whole point. And I, I, I hope that I'm proving them wrong. I mean, I don't want to prove them wrong because I don't want to be mean about it. But I do want to prove them wrong in the sense that I think they were completely off the mark with just straight to surgery. Um, I think they, that they are smarter than that, that everybody is in, got into medicine for reasons other than 
a body shop and I had to go to extremes and tell them that to their face seemingly to get them to listen I don't know if that's what it was to got, get them to listen but they're listening now so that's a cool thing but it's just like you know I pound my head against the wall and maybe it is for a reason so you know maybe all this <clears throat> that I have inside of me is exactly there for a purpose and it's there to maybe change their minds I don't know but uh this is a horrible, horrible video for a holiday, and I apologize. And uh, it's a horrible video to try and get people to subscribe because I'm just telling you bad things about myself, and I don't want to. I want the the reason I'm here is to get people to to try and you know go on, to keep going, to 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 to, to practice more, to to go on with life, even you know, even if you're uh, you know wanting off yourself, don't why. Go listen to some music, man. That's what gets me through. Always, man. Always. And if you're dead, you can't listen to music, man. So, pff, uh, fuck that. I'm staying. I'm staying. I'm turning that shit up. 11. Screw that. I'm, I'm on, I want 12. I want 14, 13. I like 13. Uh, well, let's go past 11. I want 13. That's what I'm saying. Turn that shit up. Play it loud. Play it hard. Play proud. I hope you all is having a good day. And I hope you all is having a good holiday. If it is a holiday, stop watching me. Go outside. Go do something. Well, maybe not. Uh, it's still a little bit sunny out. So go outside. Do something, man. Have fun. Go be with your family. Go be with your friends. You know, do, do good things. And always look up. He's there for you. I'll see you then. Peace.